Hey guys, listen, what would you do if you see someone, let's use a woman for example, whose hair is laid, her hair is laid, her hair looks good, it's all together, her makeup looks fine, her face looks fine, her accessories are nice, her face is clean, it's washed, but then you look down, she's wearing really raggedy, dirty clothes just some raggedy clothes just ragged toe up trying to keep it together clothes all the way down her shirt's raggedy it's tattered some hand-me-down trying to trying to make it buttons you know raggedy dirty pants poor looking pants it's not together it's, you know trying to trying to come up pants you know heel to the front shoes just some raggedy shoes just broke down heel to the front raggedy dirty butt hey trying to make a come up but listen on the top oh laid laid just, you know just looking good listen just wearing all the best on the face the hair Time and effort has been put together in getting this hair done and time and effort has been put together in, you know, making sure the face is washed in and, and everything is in place. But the, the body, everything is looking raggedy, nails looking raggedy, feet looking raggedy. This is what's going on in the body of Christ. When you look at the head, when you look at those who are in leadership position, they are just like. <laughs> on fleek <laughs> another term for that is like they look good but the rest of the body is looking raggedy maybe maybe the shoulders might look good the shirt might look good those connected to them you know those that is in the same little boat with them maybe looking okay but for the sake of this video the, everything else is looking raggedy you okay Trying to make it buttons. Everything's dirty, raggedy, poor. You know, the the rest of the body just look raggedy, not together. Not as nice, not as laid as the head. Why? Because all the effort and all the the investments and, and everything is being put into making the head, making this part <laughs> look right. Right. There's not enough funds. There's not enough substance, you know, uh, subsidies to go down to the rest of everybody else because everything is going into keeping the hair laid and keeping everything looking good and putting the best earrings in and keeping the face looking good because this is what we see. Bam, bam. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not how it's supposed to be. What people don't rec rec realize is, listen, a, a woman or a man, you can have everything looking good. And you understand? And your heads, your hair, everything's looking good. But the rest of you matters as well. That's the part of the whole finished product of who you are. You can look good, but you put on some dirty, raggedy clothes, you know, guess what? It's 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 gonna take away from you. Okay? It, it's the same thing. Listen, you can look real good, especially the body. You can have a nice outfit, but your hair could look raggedy and throw it all off. It's all about a unified change, unified progress, unified, listen, transition in Christ. But what we're finding is a lot of times people are being taught that you give to the head. If you give to the head, then God will bless you. If you give and you invest in the head, the, the, these leaders and key people and prophets, then God is going to bless you. No, you bless everybody. That is God's concept. That is his whole that is how he operates. He's always operated that way. If one part get blessed, everybody gets blessed. Everybody does. Everyone blesses each other. So guess what? On a whole and as a unit, we're looking good together. How many churches you go to, their congregation is poor, broke, making it, struggling, trying to make it, trying to make ends meet, and the head looks just absolutely fantastic. They got cars, they have houses, they have this, they have that. Well, and some of them may be working, but guess what? They're working plus they're getting supplementary stuff from the church, from the people, gifts. People believe if they bless them with $500, if they do this, they, come on. So they flourish. But the bottom line is, here's the truth. Everybody can look like that. 
if they are all, if they're dispersing and everyone is putting towards each other. But people are made to feel, people who are less, people who are dis, who are poor, they're made to feel and, and they're despised because they're made to feel like their condition is based on their faith. Them not having money is something they're doing wrong. And so they continue to give and to give and to give. Guys, I want you to look at my video. It's called, <laughs> actually, I put it in this link. All right. It's called The Truth About Tides. And you will see where tides is, tides today is not what it was supposed to be. It's not what it was back then. And I tell people, if you still want to walk and continue to do that, then you need to do it. What the Lord showed me in that word is that the perversion is taking something, a principle of God and turning it and changing it and making it what you want it to be. If you still want to walk in that in as far as tithing, then the Lord says, do it exactly the way that I ordained it. Don't change it up to what you want. So guys, check it out. It is about 19 minutes, but that's as close as I can get it. Okay. Uh, that's as short as I can make it trying to give you everything, but read it for yourself, pray about it and everything. But guys, what I'm telling you is if we're, if we as the body of Christ are helping one another on a whole, building each other in every way, not just financially, but every way, encouraging one another, being there for one another, we will all be looking like how you see a lot of these pastors are looking, driving these type of cars and it's not about material things but what i'm saying is it shouldn't be the head is looking absolutely fantastic and then you got somebody who's poor and broke can't pay their rent can't get no money from the church because they want to look at your tithing records where do you see it says that you understand that you're going to check a person's tithing and offering record to make sure and they need to show you why they don't have money you know the man or woman it's hard enough for them to come but now you're going to further try to make them feel worse take the little bit of pride the little ounce of prize pride that they have left you understand just to tell them no okay so my brothers and sisters just keep that in mind it can't just be the head looking good and the body is raggedy the body is under underfed the body is malnourished but we're putting everything into this part but then underneath it's it's stinky it's raggedy it's weak it's not being fed it's not being given the same type of support the same type of effort the same type of care that's being put just in the head this is not god's way we are the body on a whole. We are the body of Christ. It should never be that the head is looking fly, looking good, looking, you know, on fleet, doing all these different things, looking nice. And then guess what? You're wearing some old Sambo shoes on your feet. No, the condition of your body is an indication of the absolute negligence of the head. You understand that? Something, the error of the head. So listen, let us all look to Christ and be led by him so we know exactly how we are supposed to treat one another in Christ. And again, this is not just about finances. It's how you treat people spiritually. It's how you, you, you know, you treat people when they are having hard times and struggling. How are, are you just supporting the head? Are you just looking for people who's on the, you know, the upper echelons? But then you you neglecting look the feet that carries most of the weight of the body. You are you're neg you're negating the big toe, which is actually really important for balance. You're ignoring the legs. <coughs> Sorry, you're ignoring the legs. You're ignoring everything. You're ignoring the the hands that has to get the hair in order. You understand that we are all one in Christ, and that needs to be our mindset. Be blessed.